this is module number two for event management and city. types of special events. There are many kinds of uh, events that take place. Events can be classified as personal, corporate, or community events. So let's discuss first the personal events. So when you say personal event, it is organized by and for friends and family to celebrate important uh, milestones in life. This include shower parties, birthday parties, baptism, uh, wedding, achievement, blowouts, reunion, anniversaries, and even funerals. The second type of event is the corporate events. It is organized to improve the productivity and profitability of companies and contribute to the achievement of corporate goals. This include product launching, sales rallies, and trade shows. The last one is the community events. These are the gatherings of the members of the community and their guests to commemorate historical and or religious events, promote arts and culture, and strengthen the social bonds. Examples of such events are festivals, school and churches events, art exhibit, and local sporting events. There are also big international events which unite the world as one big community. Say for example, we have World Youth Day Celebration, World Expo, or even the Olympics. So guys, let's talk about the mice. It is not the plural of mouse, but mice is an acronym. So let's discuss about the definition, characteristic of the meeting, incentives, convention, congress, and exhibition, or also known as the mice industry. So let's first discuss the M for meeting is a general term that refers to the gathering of people to discuss a set of agenda or to do a particular activity. So it can be called an ad on hoc basis or as needed. Or the following a set of patterns such as annual stakeholder meeting, meeting, do not include exhibit, just only meeting. Incentives is a tool to encourage employees to increase a sales or provide solution. Incentive travel therefore means using travel as reward for accomplishment such as reaching a sales quota, winning a competition, and the like. One of the high-ranking executives of the Travel Cafe in Japan said that the people usually wish to work for more money. When people have money, they wish to have more time. And when they have both time and money, they wish to travel. The executive concluded that many people dream to travel, hence the birth of the travel cafe concept. This support the claim of the effectiveness of travel as a powerful incentive. So let's move to the letter C of the mice. It stands for Congress, Convention, or Conference. But let's discuss first the Congress. So what is Congress? So Congress. Congress is a regular gathering of people who belongs to religious, cultural, professional, and other associative groups. The Congress is open stage to shed light of a particular subject question or issues, presentation, contribution, and discussion pertaining to a subject matter come from only the member of the association. This focus on question resolving means makes the term Congress more popular for association than corporation. The length of the time between Congress is usually established in advance and can be an annual. The Congress open last several days. When we say convention, convention term which is interchangeably with Congress 
refers to a large or even national and international meeting. However, unlike a congress, a convention is usually held to commemorate an event or like milestone for the host organization. Thus, it is usually held with regular intervals and each staging is given a theme. Moreover, compared with congress and conference, Convention have more innovative programs like plan to encourage participants to network and interact. Thus, convention sometimes include an exhibition related to its team. So the last is the C. So conference is a scholarly gathering to exchange views and consequently to convey message open a debate. It gives publicity to some opinion or specific issues such as climate change. Most conferences are for study purposes. It involves research input and sharing of findings and requires active contribution from the attendees. Conferences are aimed at establishing position paper as a result of the exchange of views. Compared with the Congress, a conference is a smaller scale which facilitates easier exchange of information it requires no tradition, continuity, or periodicity, and it is generally held for a short duration of time. An example of this would be a university and faculty conference where members of the faculty present the findings of their research. So the last is the letter E, the exhibition. Exhibition showcase new product, service information, or promotional materials mounted for a purpose of public relation, sales, and marketing. It is an activity designed for target supplies and product, goods, or service to de demonstrate and promote a certain market. There are two types of exhibition. The first one is the consumer show. When you say consumer show, it showcases a product that often to the public mostly for purpose or direct sales or promotion and end the user. The number two is the trade show for commerce at a bigger scale. It brings together industry players targeting similar markets and it is intended to provide a venue for sales contract with influencers and suppliers networking, gathering competitor intelligence, and building an image to the customers. In terms of exhibition, fair and trade show are sometimes used interchangeably as well as the term exhibition and exposition. However, differentiated exposition as a bigger, larger in scale than exhibition. One of the generally consists monumental public display for a goods and services for a particular industry, the abbreviation EXPO is often used for this. Now, let's move on to the criteria for evaluating a MICE venue. So, three words that start with letter C can be used to encapsulate the general criteria for selecting the venue of an event. This is the cost, convenience, and the charm. The first one is the cost. Cost is common factor in decision making, not only for the event venues. To be selected must within the budget of the organizer. Its payment terms must also match the schedule of the cash flow of the event. Number two, the convenience. Encompasses the availability of the target date accessibility, proximity, and other support services like suitability of space and the type of event and its safety features. It is important factor to consider when selecting the event venue. Number three is the charm. Charm, the appeal of the venue is commonly known as the X factor. It's the thing that attendees will keep and taking about after the event is over. It can be manifested in cultural value of the venue, such as UNESCO World Heritage Site, like St. Augustine Church in Intramuros. It can also include the brand of the venue, such as International Resort 
or it can likewise be the charm and appeal at a yes to the attendees.